the phone. Your mom, because your mom will call you. I thought you were going to say uh, your mom joke. I was about to ready no, to get no. mad. If you don't, when you, when you don't turn your phone on silent or whatever, mm-hmm. that's when your mom calls you and tells you, "Hey, look, you're on TV. I just wanted to call and let you know that you're on TV. You're on the Facebook. You're on the Facebook. You're moving, and you're talking about stuff." Uh, so I just got the notification on my phone at Glocker Realty Insurance is live now with awesome. an event, the cast at Glocker. So we're live. For some reason, Jeff, it's not hooking up to I you. Can, I can tell you. What? I got hacked. Oh, sorry. My account I'm got gonna... hacked, so I had to, I had to do it, put a new, um, a new login on. Oh, so that means you're going to have a new stream key on your channel. No, 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 it's it, it's. I still kept it. All right. Well, you'll have we to log to, in. I just had to put a new password in. Long story short, I'm turning you off. Good. So you. But next week I'll be back. Next week you'll be back. You yeah. won't be able to see Jeff on his Facebook page, but you can look at Glocker Real Estate Insurance, and you can also look at YouTube Glocker Real Estate Insurance. Don't forget to subscribe over on YouTube if you haven't already. It does help us get subscribers on YouTube. It helps our analytics, if nothing else. And it's free. Free. I mean, uh, free. 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 Do you see the commercial? Free. free, free, free. 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 Yeah. So just do it. Let us know how we sound. I think the sound's all right. I got, Somebody's I, saying sound is good. I, I heard already that we sound good. We just don't know if our guests sound great yet. <laughs> but I'm sure they will. I mean, they sound good, too. But. So why don't we do this? Let's, inter- let's um, introduce our guests today, or they can introduce themselves. Let's, let's, inter- let's, let's be polite and introduce them. Ready? All right, Jeff, go. Here we have Larry O'Toole from the newest establishment, in Boyertown, correct, Jillian? Yes. Okay. Um, it's Boyertown Ice Cream and Water Ice Factory. And he's been kind enough to bring in some treats for us today, which I'm really excited about. I know Matt is because he, that's all he does is talk about food all the time. That's true. Yes. So, um, and we also have Jillian, and what, I'm sorry, what's your last name again, Jillian? McGee. McGee. Jillian McGee. I should have wrote I it down. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> Jillian McGee is here with us from Building a Better Boyertown. And she's going to talk to us about coming out of hibernation like big bears that we are here in Boyertown. <laughs> Arr. Arr. But we'll start off things with, with Larry because uh, because we don't want the ice cream to melt. We don't want the ice cream to right? melt. And we have another taste tester now. We there's do. three taste yeah. testers. Yeah. So Jillian showed up just in the nick of time. She heard there was ice cream and she ran over here. Right. Well, I think she gets to choose the flavor she wants to test then. Heck yeah. Oh, uh, there you go. We want to try uh, cookies and brownies, M&M, apple pie, or vanilla coffee crunch. Cookies and brownies. You didn't even have to go any further. <laughs> there you go. You had her at cookies and brownies. Uh, who's the second choice then? M&M, apple pie, or cookie crunch? Go ahead, man. I'm going to try apple pie. Apple pie. I'm going to go for that one. The old sir. American favorite right there, right? Yeah, right. And we got M&M and what's the other one? Coffee crunch. I'll do the coffee. I love the coffee. All right, so. there you go. Yeah. And I got, oh, and I got the M&M. Delicious. So we're starting off the show right with some eating of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I make everything right in that little building there on site, so... And the building he's talking about is the one right next to Argento's, yep. in front of Tractor Supply, CVS, all those stores. Yep. What is your say? So yeah, he's between Dunkin' Donuts mm-hmm. and Argento's on East Philadelphia Avenue. What's your address there? Eight thirty-five East Philadelphia Avenue. Eight thirty-five East Philadelphia Avenue. It's Boyertown Ice Cream and Water Ice Factory. And I was surprised to learn before the show that you're making all the ice cream there on site, right? On site, huh? Yep. And I got recipes for something like 150 different ice creams, and I make my water ice on site, too. It's really, I mean, this coffee ice cream is awesome, and I love the chunks in it. I like it a lot. And, you know, the people watching, they can join in on the fun, and they can go to the refrigerator, grab some ice cream, and eat ice cream, too. (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm not trying to make anybody jealous. Is or you somebody, can run, is run somebody mine in the shop right now? Yeah, they're probably getting slammed right now. And... <laughs> <laughs> so really what you could do yeah. is you could jump in your car. Mm-hmm. Now, make sure you leave the cast at Glocker on. Of course. You could listen to the show as you're driving down to Boyertown Ice Cream and Water Ice Factory. And you can get some of the stuff that we're sampling right now. Mine's excellent. And it actually goes pretty good with the beer that I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good combo. So before, let's give the folks an idea of what your capacities are. Because I think it's pretty interesting to know that you're making the ice cream on site. It doesn't look like a very big place. So how much ice cream are you able to make in one batch? I make it in a six quart, so it's a gallon and a gallon and a half at a time, um, and I make 13 different flavors of ice cream, about 10 flavors of water ice. Um, so I'm pretty stocked up. I also have an outside patio that's 24 by 24, which I'm going to have a, a, a shade tarp put over. I got that's a, a good dri- idea. I got a drive-through. I got curbside pickup, uh, so you can fax an order in soon. Um, I'm gonna have Wawa coffee soon. I do how, how are you doing that one? How how did you pull that off? Uh, it's just I'm buying it off the same vendor they do, and I'm allowed to sell it in a Wawa cup even. Really? Yeah. And no copyright infringements or anything like that. And then uh, same thing. I got two different kinds of cappuccino and hot chocolate, soft pretzels, hot dogs. So you can take the family out and they, and. If for some reason, there's someone that doesn't like ice cream, which I can't imagine who that would be. They, you have <laughs> hot dogs other and, choices. and other choices, yeah. yeah. Water ice. And, and in addition to the hand-dipped ice cream that you're doing and the, that you're making there on site, and how many flavors do you have right now available? I have 13 of hand-dipped ice cream. I have soft serve, which you have chocolate, vanilla, and twist. But I have flavor burst. Like, Rita's doesn't have flavor burst. I can inject it with eight different flavors of ice cream, uh, which is anything from cotton candy to bubble gum to cappuccino to, uh, uh, I forget some of the other flavors on there, but yeah, I got eight different flavors that uh, it it can only get injected on the vanilla ice cream, but. Okay. I see here, cotton candy, bubble gum, purple grape, tropical orange, mocha cappuccino, strawberry, chocolate, or peanut butter. Yep. And then that gets in, injected kind of like a band or like a ring yeah. around the outside of the soft serve, right? Yep, it gets mixed in. Yep, and I, I have soft serve served in a, a bowl, which is a, a waffle bowl that you can eat the ice cream and then eat the cone afterwards. Okay. So you don't have to worry about it. My ice cream tends to be a little softer than the stuff with preservatives. Okay. So it's a little softer. It'd fall off the cone and it'd be a mess. So I just went with bowls. And it doesn't matter what size you're getting, small or large, you're getting the same size bowl, just different quantity of what's going in it. It's very so. smooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So no preservatives are in, in your ice cream at all? No. Good. Good. And so are you making ice cream? When are you making the ice cream? Like... Um, I make it whenever it rains, whenever I'm really slow. <laughs> I, I've had slow days where, like, you know, you don't get any customers, so I figured I might as well make it on my rainy days. I'm actually looking at thinking about maybe on rainy days inviting two people in, two or three people, charge them a couple bucks, and they can learn how to make ice cream. But I'm uh, also doing that for the Girl Scouts, for the Girl Scouts to get their ice cream badge. I'm inviting different troops in and oh, yeah? teach them how to do it. Oh, I, did, I didn't even know there was an ice cream badge. I didn't badge. know there was an ice cream badge either. <laughs> I just learned something new. I did too. <laughs> so part of your concept with the ice cream, besides the fact that this is locally made ice cream, so it's made right here in Boyertown. It's a local product. You're a local guy. Where, where, are, you, where are you from? I'm originally from Lansdale, but I've been up here 19 years. Okay. In Boyertown. Yep. All right. And I guess the other part of what I'm getting to is that part of your concept is that you are trying to support like local nonprofits. So you have a fundraiser uh, type program yeah. set up. What I do is I have gift cards that are ten dollars, and the organization uh, these are all numbered, and I give them. They don't even have to have the money up front. I give them the cards. They sell the cards, 
and they turn back into money and I write them a check for 20% of what they sold. Okay. But the best thing about yeah. it, it's an everlasting fundraiser. So these cards are out there. When they get reloaded, I'll donate another $2 back if somebody puts another 10 on. If they put a 20 on, I'll put another $4. So they got to sell these once and they got an income That's of cash to them. My way of marketing is, you know, to the nonprofit organizations, I used to be with Bikers Against Child Abuse, and I used to try to get money off Toys R Us or someplace like that, and they wouldn't give the local organizations, and that used to frustrate me. So this was my answer to marketing myself and getting myself known in the community and getting known for giving back. I also do it's the same. It's a good thing to be known for, right? Yeah, I'll also do the same thing. Uh, Right now, Boyertown Wrestling is selling my cards, and the American Legion Sons of in Boyertown are selling my cards. But also, I got invited today, uh, Boyertown Ambulance, to an off-site event. So I'm going to sell my ice cream at the off-site event, and same thing. Whatever I sell, I'll donate 20% back. Yeah. That's great. That's a great idea. Yeah. So if somebody out there has an organization or you're involved in an organization, or you're looking for a good fundraiser, uh, give Larry a call or stop by the shop. It sounds like a great way to have a, a really good local fundraiser. It's yeah. going to support your nonprofit or your organization and support a local business. Especially That's the win-win. Especially when it's hard time with the pandemic of fundraising. I mean, this makes it easy for you to do. It's not right. even a big gathering. Yeah, right. There's no gathering needed. You're just selling it to the folks in you yeah. know who are interested in supporting your organization. And one shot, it's one shot, and they can keep on giving and giving without even knowing it. They just that's keep a, on reloading that card, and that's a great idea, man. So I guess the cards are numbered so that you know you can so track them and what see. I, what I do is each card is tracked. So I'll like Warrior Town Wrestling has uh, zero through two hundred. And I wrote number one on the card in permanent marker, so I know that's my first fundraiser. So every time it comes in the door, I'll see a one on it. And if they reload it, I'll write it in my book that they reloaded it. And then every couple of months, I'll donate whatever adds up in the book. Hmm. So you're getting some shout-outs. Uh, Alyssa Iobaki, who is our, um, I believe she was our student of the year. She was on the show. Yeah, She said Alyssa. that she went last weekend. It was great. And uh, she's glad that they're open later. So you have some later hours? Yeah, I open uh, 11, 11 a.m. Sunday through Thursday, and then 11 11 Friday, Saturday. Okay. So that's great. So you can get out there a little bit early, or later, I mean. And the other part of it, too, is that it's mostly outdoor. It's all outdoor seating, right? Yep. So you don't have to worry about going inside. You can socially distance, um, be outside, and enjoy some locally produced ice cream. Uh, Nathan Lab, yeah, who's Nathan, the uh, yeah. guest service coordinator at uh, Colebrookdale Scenic Railroad, is talking about an ice cream train. Oh, that's there a great idea. Go. There you go. So maybe you need to hook up with Nathan after the show, and uh, there'll be a special... A Sunday Sunday train. Oh, <laughs> How about that? Oh, I just Sunday, sun. Sunday you, that didn't work. right now. Sunday that came up. train just came right up with it. <laughs> we were talking about it earlier. How you have ideas and look at that. I they got a pop lot out. of ideas. I got to hire this guy as my marketing. Guy. I won't even right. listen, Nathan. I won't even charge you for that. <laughs> take it free. I'll just I'll just take a complimentary ride. That's all I'm looking for. <laughs> so. Everybody, yeah, Alyssa's saying that she was uh, wishes you were around during the campaign, her campaign, and apparently she did very well. Too, yeah, she, so. she she became student of the year. Yeah, there you go, and raised a record amount of money in some way, shape, or form. That was what I was hearing from her. Uh, she did. She broke it. Mom. Remember, we we're we we're telling her she had to do it. She had yes. to break the record. She did yeah. it. Yeah. And Nathan Lab saying too, it's that place is so tiny. It's amazing that you're able to produce so much. I love, I love, product it. I love that it's called a factory, and then it actually <laughs> truly is. They're it making truly it is. He's making it there. I kind of stole the name off Philadelphia uh, Soft Press. Oh, you're not gonna tell people about that. <laughs> that, that no, you're not. They're gonna come after you. They're gonna be like, "Hey, we want some of the profit." <laughs> And I am selling their pretzels, so I'm not stealing all. Oh, them. there you okay. go. Okay, all right. It's a yeah. It's a team <laughs> hey. effort. Factory, I don't think is is 
Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Copyrighted or anything. No, no. no, I don't think so either. Yeah. I think there's enough difference between the two things. You shouldn't run into that. You shouldn't any confuse trouble. between pretzels and, and ice cream, I don't no, think. No, not at all. But they do go perfect together. So they everybody's do. everybody's asking about the feedback on the flavors. So people were asking about my apple pie. The apple yeah. pie was really good. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of raisins, and there was raisins in it, but it was still excellent. Hmm. It it was so good, I was able to taste past the, <laughs> the raisins. raisins. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a good thing, yes. right? Because yeah, absolutely. If so I did, didn't does it like, taste it, like Does it taste like homemade apple pie? It tastes like apple pie spices, yes. It nice. tastes like um, apple pie a la mode. Like if you were to oh, put with a ice cream, on, ice cream yeah. on your mom's apple pie, it's exactly what it tastes awesome. like. Awesome, I like that. So I would recommend it. I'm glad I picked that one. Jeff, yeah, my you're up. wait. Which what exactly they call this? The coffee crunch. Vanilla, yeah. yeah. Vanilla coffee crunch. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, it. It's got an awesome co- coffee fa- flavor, and like Jillian said, it's really, really smooth. Like really smooth, and it, but it has a crunch in there too, which is great. So yeah, I I love it. Now you were saying earlier before that you had some method that oh the way you were uh, adding the ingredients, like you uh, were using. If I make M M&M and M ice cream or Milky Way ice cream. You'll get the taste, but you won't find M&M's and Milky Way in it. I actually chop them up into little pieces and I blend them into dust and put them in the ice cream mix. So you get the flavor, you get the taste, but you don't find them in it. That's okay. what I saw with mine. There wasn't quite so much chunks, but you very much got that flavor. Now, which one did you have? Mine was the cookies and brownies one. Yep. Very delicious. Which has actually Oreos and real, and real brownies. brownies in it. And then I also have M&M's and brownies as toppings, too. So if you want the chunks, you can have it, too. I don't charge anything for toppings or flavor burst. The price is the price. Everything's included. I don't charge sales tax on the ice cream at all. I eat the cost on that. I do charge sales tax on the pretzels and the hot dogs and the coffee and the cappuccino. But on the ice cream, I don't. It's just flat price. Wow, nice. So you can put as many toppings on as you want? You can get two different kinds of scoops of things, or three different kinds of scoops. I, it's the price. Yeah. I, I, make I it, like that. It's the yeah. price. Yeah, yeah, right. It's the price. I like that. I try to give you a good quantity and good quality for a fair price. All right. My question to you is, uh, how did you choose Boyertown? For, I mean, I, you, so you <laughs> lived here. So that's, yeah. that's one part of it, I'm sure. You always yeah. want to... Oh, I've been up here 19 years. I traveled all the way down to Lansdale, well actually Chalfont, where my job was for 20 years, and then I got a different job in in uh, Doylestown, and then I got an opportunity to work local, and I took a local job, and then last year I had a motorcycle accident that uh, put me on disability, which put me out of my job, so this was a career change for me. Yeah, like a forced career change. <laughs> yeah, so, that's how I, I ended up finding out about the, I knew the shop was open, but I was actually looking at doing Kona water ice. And uh, when the shop was open, I looked at it and I was looking at the traffic patterns and, and how much business is going on around there. And I decided to take the plunge. So, so I invested in opening up there. Nice. Nice. We're glad you did because ice cream, water ice and... All that stuff is good to have, no, especially it's when we great. can walk to it from Glocker. We can definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, you definitely got to get a, uh, a whole new set of clientele yeah. right from this office in of itself. Because we'll have I know, closings here? Yeah. Everybody <laughs> will go ice for ice cream. I know Pat, our, uh, the assistant to the assistant, Pat, Right. she's going to be over there all the time because yep. she's always looking for ice cream. <laughs> So it's it's great, and yeah. I'm still thinking about all the different ways that people can team up with Larry in order to do their fundraisers. I mean, that's a it's an excellent idea, and um, it's 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 kind of the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, and actually, on the cards is my menu right on the card. So you scan that, it takes you right to my menu. Then you can pay with your card. So if you were closing a deal here and you had people that needed to waste a little time. I'll speed it up, get them ice cream. They can come back and sign your paperwork later. I like it. I like it, too. We might have to get some gift cards. We might. As, like, closing presents or something. There you go. Can, with, that, with that QR code on the back that you scan, 
Can you, if your menu changes, yep. does, does my the, menu will that change? If I am out of something, I can unpublish it and take it off. And it will still show up correct yeah. with the QR code. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. That's cool. I All right, I just want to say a couple of things. Thanks for everybody that's tuning in on Facebook, Glocker Realty and Insurance. If you like what you hear, remember to like the show. Post your comments in the comments section, and then also share the show to your news feed. The more the show is commented on, the more it's shared, the more we're able to get the word out about what's going on in Boyertown. And we can help our local businesses and nonprofits succeed. So this is a networking event. If you see somebody in the comments commenting that you want to connect with, remember, you're on Facebook. Send them a message. You can connect with them right during the show. I also want to thank the four people that are watching on YouTube right now. All right. I think that that's might big be, for YouTube. I think that might record. be a record number of YouTube <laughs> watchers. Thanks for tuning in on YouTube. If you like what you're seeing and hearing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We do need new subscribers over on the YouTube channel. Also, while you're on the YouTube channel, check out some of those other listings. We put our listing videos up there. We're doing a lot of good work with the uh, listing videos. They're very interesting and don't give you a really good view of the show. They're cool to watch. Now, yeah. since we're talking about listings, yeah. you have a new listing that I you? put up today, today in Boyertown, 157 Papa Dickin Drive in Indian Springs. Uh, it's an N-unit home, and uh, it's two bedrooms. Uh, you can make it into three bedrooms very easily because okay. they're all the same size. Yeah, in Indian Springs, mm -hmm. and then the two bedroom. The only difference between a two bedroom, and three bedroom, is there's a wall missing uh, and a door okay. missing. That's it. Okay. Okay, um, but it's a two bedroom. Uh, it's it's really nice condition. New windows, new uh, new roof, new mechanic. I mean mechanicals. Like it's moving ready, completely moving ready. So yeah. gotcha. It has a nice deck out back, and it backs up to like uh, trees. It doesn't back up to like, like other a homes or anything. Oh, so it backs up to like one of the common spaces or yeah. common areas mm -hmm. in there. What is the listing price on your one seventy four nine? That's pretty uh, yeah, reasonable mean, right now. Yeah, what are you going to get for one seventy four nine? So and, you, and they have a pool there at the community too. Oh, they do. Yeah, I so, somehow I knew that. Yeah, I've probably never cause, sold, probably because you're in real estate. I've never sold it. I've never sold anything over there. No, no, I've had people look at stuff. But I've never had a listing there, and I've never sold anything. Um, I've only been in there for showings. Yeah, it's a real nice unit. So. Yeah, and it's and not unit, a, it's not a bad that. it's a pretty well maintained community. It's a very well maintained. And you they drive were, through it. It's it, every all the houses are nice there. They're nice. They're mm -hmm. well maintained. The grounds are well maintained. Yeah. And I know they just did some uh, work over there to update a couple of the. There was some retaining wall issues and some other stuff going on there that they took care of. Yeah. What's the address again in your new? One fifty seven Papa Dick and Drive. So check that out. You can after the show. Wait till after the show. After the show, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Go watch the listing video at Glocker Realty and Insurance on Facebook. And then over the next day or two, I'll put that listing video up on YouTube uh, with the other ones. I just wanted to uh, say that. Now, it seems to me yes. that since we're here supporting businesses and nonprofits, it would be a good segue into Jillian and what's going on. Why are you here today besides tasting Larry's beautiful ice cream? <laughs> what brings you in to us today? Yeah, bring the mic over because she... Yeah. I mean, I think I would have just come just for the ice cream, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we, um, I'm, I'm coming in to talk about our event that's happening this Saturday. Okay. Uh, and that is coming out of hibernation. Um, it's our annual springtime event. Some of you may notice uh, or remember prior events that we've held in the past. This one is going to be um, a little bit different than prior times that we've held this event. Um, we are expanding it for three blocks. So from Reading Avenue all the way down to Washington Street. And uh, I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> Uh, we have all kinds of vendors showing up. 
Um, we have the Elmwood Zoo coming out to talk about how animals hibernate um, and how animals, different animals, come to get ready for springtime. They're going to be bringing four different animals to talk about that. Um, I love live animals. Yeah, it's always fun. Yes. And you never know what's going to happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just that knows. little taste of, th- of thrill. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're also having, speaking of thrill, I'm very allergic to bees, but I am very excited. You have one uh, on your mask. I know. <laughs> I know. My happy Zen this is mama her mask. her trying to get through it. Like, she's like, if I put it on my mask, how could I possibly be scared of it? <laughs> I love bees, but I'm definitely allergic. <laughs> but no, if you like my mask, uh, happy Zen mama sells them. Happy Zen mama. Yeah. We know happy we, Zen mama. We talked to Lisa. We had one of the laughiest shows oh my God. i think <laughs> i laughed the entire time and then i turned red at least three times at right least three times <laughs> yeah. and the name of her candles are hilarious yeah. yes so what's going on with the bees i kind of so cut you off the the hint it the the apiary is called hinteroff farms um he is local he's coming with a display uh display case uh oh. display hive okay an observation hive and it'll it'll have live bees in there they'll be enclosed so you you will not see me at the at the ambulance <laughs> truck with like a epi pen in my phone fi- no none of that it's completely safe they will be enclosed um, he's also going to be bringing some of his equipment that he works with, uh, with like the mask and the suit and everything, talking about pollinators, um, and he'll be right near our pollinator garden, so that'll be a nice um, segue into that. Separate from coming out of hibernation, we are expanding that this year, so I'm super pumped for that. Um, but we have a couple of other nonprofits like the Girl, Girl Scout Troop. Um, I think it's one two two one troop okay. one two two. I, anyway, we have a we have a scout troop coming out to uh, assist with that pollinator discussion at the at the event. We have another nonprofit, Seniors and Sprouts, who are going to be selling um, uh, bee hotels. And they, oh, excuse me, they are completely. Uh, decomposable so there's no um it, it like you can everything will decompose after like you just hang it and it it goes and, back and the bees nature. can use it utilize it yep. and then do their thing yep. and then when it's done it's done absolutely and we're going to have lots of great springtime vendors like society blooms um they are a mobile floral truck so she comes out, she's been in a couple of events in Boyertown already, I think specifically with Magpie, uh, her Magpie Rentals and her new store that she's opened up over on Grimsville Road. But she brings a floral, a, a, a kind of like a food truck, but instead of food, it's flowers and she makes handmade bouquets right there on the spot. Her vases, by the way, totally fantastic. It'd be perfect Mother's Day gift if you're needing any suggestions for your moms <laughs> <laughs> i bought all of her bases already i can say that they are pretty <laughs> um but yeah the, all kinds of vendors and one of the food vendors that we are excited for other than larry and his wonderful ice cream of course yeah everybody can try it at this event right <laughs> yes right. yeah i'm thinking that maybe larry needs to team up with the honey guy i'm thinking about oh, some like some honey, honey ice cream ice i do have a honey flavor ice cream i didn't make it yet but i did buy some local honey i just ran out of room <laughs> <laughs> i don't believe you so oh, he in needs, that big place he needs, what he's saying is what he's saying is he needs more people to get over there and eat some ice cream yeah, so, so he can bring the new products in. right right so get Get over there and start eating. Yeah. Watch traffic back up outside. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't dunking this time. It's me. Um, but yeah, we have a food vendor who is coming, and I'm very excited for them. Um, they are local, but not. They're they're from Douglasville, I believe. Um, his name is Geo. He has been in the restaurant business for about 20 years, if I remember correctly. Um, and he was in the newspaper a couple of times recently within the past year, but not I, in the wanted section. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted Maybe to make sure. I wanted to clarify food. that <laughs> when yes. someone's in the newspaper, you never know. It's wanted for his awesome recipe. Right, <laughs> yes. right. 
Um, he has a really unique situation where COVID left him in a tight spot. So he opened up his own restaurant in his house, in his garage. So he smokes, uh, he smokes, he makes Mexican food. He smokes his meats out of his garage. People come up and pick up his amazing food there and then they get it to go for takeout. And I heard about this. I taught, reached out to him and I was like, hey, do you wanna maybe come out to coming out of hibernation? Um, so he's gonna be our main food fundraiser for coming out of hibernation. He was super thrilled, I'm super thrilled. Um, I'm super extra thrilled because when we did a survey for the public uh, here in Boyertown, the number one response was that people wanted Mexican food. Okay. <laughs> so I heard it. <laughs> I heard everybody and I was like, okay, Mexican food. So uh, Los Gios is coming out to coming out of hibernation. Awesome. I have his menu here. He's bringing some pastor tacos. Uh, some brisket tacos. Brisket tacos sounds good. <laughs> oh my gosh, the brisket tacos. I, brisket I've been, anything sounds good. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's been sending me pictures and my mouth is just uh, oh, yeah. rolling. <laughs> uh, he's also bringing a pulled pork sandwich. Um, and then for our sides, he's got mac and cheese uh, with his own special twist on it. Uh, a jalapeno slaw, which I'm like... Yum. I love like coleslaw, but this one sounds just extra delicious. Yeah, I think I could do some jalapeno slaw <laughs> with some brisket tacos. Yes. And then I'll go to Larry's. I guarantee you I'm getting the brisket tacos <laughs> if they don't run out before I get there. Yeah, right. We better get there early. Yeah. And then there's going to be off the cob street corn. Okay. So uh, if, if you're familiar with uh, Mexican street corn, it's the same exact thing. Just it's he cuts it off the cob so you don't have to like have floss to pick the corn cob out of your teeth but unfortunately you still need the floss for the corn <laughs> because it somehow finds a way <laughs> so it's basically um it's mexican inspired um smoked meat and yes. stuff yeah that's, that's a cool dude. mix i like that He's dude. Been very popular mm. What, who's, what's the name of this business again? He is called Los Gios Smoke and Grill. Somebody um, from Glocker Realty Insurance is saying that they had his food at Hidden River, Ooh. and it was really good. Yes. So I guess he's more of like a food truck uh, type setup then, right? For now, at least, right? Yeah, for now. I'm actually trying to help him come into Boyertown okay. permanently, so fingers crossed. Um, but yes, yes. But uh, yeah, I, I highly recommend that everybody come. I, I want everybody to come out and, and buy his food and try it and taste it and welcome him into Boyertown. But also, um, a portion of the proceeds does come back to bu building a better Boyertown. So we oh, can good. continue to host great events like coming out of hibernation. So, and we'll just I'm just gonna shoot in here real quick that it is from 11 to 2 on yep. Saturday this yep. Saturday, but uh, the cartoon magician is going to be here, right? I can't yep. think of his, what's his what's cuckoo. his name? Cuckoo. Cuckoo. How did yeah. I forget cuckoo? <laughs> oh, I know who. You cuckoo know cuckoo. Is. cuckoo? Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah. he's good. He's, he's really, really good, good musician. He's really good magician. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. He's he's done stuff. I don't have no idea how he's doing it. <laughs> Yes, I've seen him at Applebee's down My in kids Pottstown. Love him. Yeah, he's good. Around. I love and him. And he too. lived in Pottstown for a little while. And uh, the one day we were at the car wash, and he lived across the street from the car wash. And um, he came out and started doing some stuff for my kids were hanging around. And mm -hmm. he was like, Do you mind if I show him some stuff? I need to practice. So he started doing some stuff. He's, he's really good. He is yeah, good. Yeah. Some of his stuff will blow your mind. <laughs> yeah. So he'll be there all day, all the whole oh, time. Yes, he'll be there. Well, not all the whole day. He'll be there for a good forty-five minutes to an hour. Oh, so. Um, we do have all kinds of entertainment. So, in addition to Cuckoo, we have another magician. Um, he's called Mike the Magician. He's kind of like a corporate more. So Cuckoo's more like kid themed. Mike is more adult themed. He's going to be roaming around. Um, we've got. Everything from bands, Funky Frets, I think their name is Justin and Glenn. Justin and Glenn, yeah. Yes. Um, there's also going to be Patricia Keith and her music studio. We're going to have Donnie Ellickson doing some interactive... Um, Karate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did say it like that on purpose, by the way. I think that's Karate. what you're supposed to say. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I thought that was kind the of the right, a joke way. No, it. I think that's the right oh, way. Really? Yeah. Yes. Um... 
but we're going to have all kinds. It's going to, we've got a full schedule. Um, the alumni band is going to be out. I know they have a great following. A lot of people get very excited for the, the alumni, alumni band. band for sure. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like that. Yeah. I, I, I love that. They're still playing their instruments and all that. Yeah. So great. you said earlier before the show that it's stretched out over three blocks, right? Yes. Uh, what three blocks are we talking about? So, so people can come right in. Yeah. So uh, the it starts, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't start. It's from Reading Avenue all the way down to Washington Street. So okay. we will be participating with, uh, we're, we're hosting the event at a safe CDC uh, suggested distance, the six feet. We're zigzagging our tables. Um, so that way we can encourage that social distancing. Um, but yes, it'll be a whole three blocks and... Uh, we're really pumped. And you're asking everybody to wear masks, correct? Yes, we are asking people just because not everybody is yet vaccinated. Sure. Um, that we, we want it's to encourage still, masks. still got to be safe. Yeah. Yes, yes. And also we don't want PennDOT to come and yell at us either. <laughs> right, because you are on a state road, right? Yes. You're going to be shutting down 73 for a few hours. Yeah, so I'd that's... like to have more events on, on, on Philadelphia Avenue. I don't want them to say no. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely going to bring some extra dollars for some of Geo's food. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We might have to get one so, of each. So we're going to be there. Yes, I was just getting ready to say oh, okay. that. Okay, <laughs> all right. Go ahead, though. Glocker Realty is going to be there. We're going to have a tent set up. Mm -hmm. We're going to ha we're going to be spinning the wheel for prizes. Yes, right? we've got a wheel of fortune. Yeah, and I think everybody wins, right? But it's just what you're going to win is the question. Yes, there's all different levels of prizes. Yeah. So stop by the Glocker Realty and Insurance table. You'll meet uh, Jeff and I. Yep. I think Robin's going to be out there with us. Okay. So at least uh, you'll get to meet at least three realtors. Yeah. I don't know who else is coming, but I know, so we I know for sure it's going to be there. the three of us. You can ask your questions. Yes. Yes. <laughs> ask your questions. Um, I will yeah. say, uh, we do uh, we are doing pre-orders with Los Geos. So if okay. you want, um, you can go to his website, losgeos.com. Yeah. If you check out his menu, you got to scroll down a bit, but there's a whole section of just coming out of hibernation menu. You just select it. Select the date and time. He's already on. Get out of town. <laughs> Get out. I've already ordered I'm one putting, of each. I'm yeah. putting that link up in the comments right now. What's yes. the name of his website? Losgeos.com. L-O-S-G-I-O-S. But yeah, you got to, it's it's towards the bottom of them, on the, the left side towards the bottom. Uh, you got to scroll down a bit, but just select what you want. Select the date of the hibernation. Uh, all the food will be pick up at hibernation. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, like I said, I've already ordered one of each. <laughs> I'm going to bounce over Larry for a second. Uh, Cause I know you, you do, you can order your ice cream anytime, not just coming out of hibernation, but like anytime you can order. Yeah, it's on a toast menu, uh, which I do have it up on my website. So you can copy that link from there. And what do you get? Like, do you get like, the back of the cards too. you get like pints like this? Is this yep. a pint? Right. Yep. That's how you can order it. And just drive through, pick it up. Yep. I charge uh, for a three-scoop ice cream the same as a pint. Because you're just getting ice cream in the, in the three-scoop. You're getting your, uh, you know, if your toppings if you want or anything else. Right. That okay. Makes sense. What's Good. your website? Uh, I don't have a website, but oh, I'm okay. on the Toast w website. And if you go on my, uh, my Facebook, uh, Border Town Ice Cream Water Ice, there's a link on there for the uh, web menu. And on Facebook, you are Boyertown Ice Cream and Water Ice. Uh, Boyertown Ice Cream and Water Ice on Facebook. So you can go over and check out Larry there. He's in the 800 block. What's your 835, 835 East Philadelphia Avenue in Boyertown. He's between Dunkin' Donuts and Argento. Smack dab in the middle. Now, look, here's what happened. Tell we me. sold this ice cream so well that Nathan Lab got in his car and <laughs> drove over there. And is now I love Nathan. He's is the best. now eating the ice cream. This is awesome. And posting comments in our show. The ice cream is so good. So that's that's awesome. Thank you, these Nathan. Thank are the, you. These are the networking connections we can help you make yeah. here at the Cast of Glocker. Yeah. So if you own a business or you're part of a nonprofit and you want to get on the show and take 
part in some of this live networking event, just contact us, Jen at Glocker. Dot com. Tell Jen, our producer, that you'd like to be on the show, and we'll get you on there. And maybe we can drum up some business for your business <laughs> right live during the show. That's pretty I awesome. saw a car flying past here, was and it, it must have been Nathan, because he was waving out the window. That new black explorer that he <laughs> <Yeah>. has. <laughs> I no, that's the, awesome. I love it. Thanks, I put Nathan. the link up in Facebook for Los Geos. I'm going to do that in YouTube next. I'm going to put that uh, link up for ordering or pre-ordering your food for this Saturday at Coming Out of Hibernation. Which so it's going to be it's, 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 it's going to be a great to. event. And the, and the weather's supposed to be nice. Yes. Oh, and one of our other sponsors that are partici- that is participating in the event. Um, I know a lot of people are starting to come back to the office, and you know everybody was stuck at home for COVID. They're starting right. to come back to the office. Um, one of our sponsors is Positively Happy Tales, um, and they are a dog walking and pet service. Ah. So if you need some assistance, feel some feel some kind of way about leaving your dog at home for so long. Stop by and check them out. <laughs> How many vendors altogether are you going to have? There's going to be 48 vendors, and that includes uh, food vendors, craft vendors, um, nonprofit sponsors, all of it. Kiki's Vodka, we talked about Ki- them before. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll be able to get a mixed drink and some uh, brisket tacos, man. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Perfect day. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, I'm a fan of Kiki's Vodka. I I haven't been there since the stay-at-home order. Right. But um, they're, they have a store in Pottstown inside the old farmer's market, which is now called the Pottstown Terminal. So the former Pottstown Farmer Market is now the Pottstown Terminal. Is that, is that starting to revive that? It is. Because I know that... Th- they lost. Yeah. It was going good. They lost, lost a couple of businesses with the shutdown and the pandemic. Yeah. There was actually two businesses that outgrew that place. Yeah. They were doing so well. Happy Zen Mama's one. Happy Zen Mama's one. The ladies from Honey's Home Brewed. And then also um, <sighs> Barrister's Bagels. Okay. Those three businesses actually were doing so well, they outgrew their space. So they've had to go to larger establishments. But there are new businesses coming into the Pottstown Terminal, one of them being Kiki's Vodka. They have a bar right on the high street side. Yeah, um, It's a nice place. They have nice mixed drinks, good selection of local beers. Go check them out. That's Definitely. My, my plug for Pottstown. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so... We have a couple other things to do, and uh, we still have time to do it, so let's get at it. Let's get at it. We had a show. We had a contest for the show today, and I'm sure there's some people that are tuning in to see if they won. So I'm going to turn on the Ask a Realtor picture. Oh, So if you're watching, you'll see that the picture for Ask a Realtor went up, and that's over their heads right there. (laughs) Floating. Yeah, yes. Jillian was holding it. Holding it up. Yeah. So this week, I think we do have some Ask the Real. Yeah, we had questions. one that we thought was really good question. Um, Liz Wright Drambaski, and hopefully I said the name right, but okay. she knows. I'm sure I'm close enough. Okay. Um, she's asking, is there a difference from a short sale and a foreclosure home sale? So there is a difference. There is a difference. Go for it, Matt. Well, let, let's tackle short sale yes, first. Yes, because they're kind of two different things. They are. And kind of involved, though, together. They can be. Yeah. I would say the short sale is this, and it's kind of easier to explain. Mm. The short sale is when you are selling your house for less money than what you owe. Yeah. So your balance on your mortgage is $120,000 but you can only sell your house for $90,000. That would be a short sale. And where they connect is usually you can't do this until you've already missed a payment and you've gone into foreclosure. Yes, that's one way. You you kind of have to be in trouble. Yeah. Now, during the Obama administration and then after the housing crash, 
of 2008, there was some uh, protections that were put in place. So if you are missing your payments or you're struggling financially with your mortgage, you can apply for what's called a mortgage restructure, which is a way to avoid having to go into short sale or foreclosure. Right. That was a that was a method that was developed in the Obama administration in order to stop people from having to go immediately into foreclosure. Correct. So there's that there's that layer too. Right. But on a very basic, basic. level, mm-hmm. a short sale is when you're selling for less than you owe. And a foreclosure home is a home that has already been foreclosed on. Yeah. Which it, it's a it's legal technically pro- a bank owned home. That's right. At that so, point. Right. So the foreclosure is a legal process when you've gone into default on your mortgage and the bank takes the property back from you. Correct. That's foreclosure. It's yeah. a legal process. Yeah. And it's a process. And in it that is. process time, that's when you can do the short sale. Right. But once they put your house up for auction. Yeah. For, for state for auction. auction. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's too late. Yes. Yeah. You have up until like an hour before the sheriff sale in order to make do or make good on your missed payments. Yeah. Or bring it back up to. In this market, the way things are going right now, <laughs> there's really no need to go into a short sale situation. No. The prices are so high and the market is so brisk that I would say that if you are worried about foreclosure or short sale, you should call one of us here at Glocker Realty and Insurance and we can help you out. Absolutely. The other the other call that you should make before you even call one of the realtors here at Glocker Realty and Insurance is call your mortgage company and talk to them about the loan restructuring. Yeah. It's it's a legal process that's available to you so that you don't have to go into foreclosure. Yeah. There's also a foreclosure moratorium right now due to the pandemic. Right. They can't they can't completely they can't foreclose on it. your home. Yeah. So you have a couple of steps that you can take before you even have to get into that situation. And if you if you go back to what you just said, if you go back to 2007, the, the height of the market, we are way above that now. So yeah. even if you paid for a home that was, you know, paid more than you could afford for your home in 2007, you can absolutely get more for it now, and you can pay off your loan and walk away without any major problems on your credit. There's a good possibility that you might even be able to put a little bit of money in your pocket. But I, I would say at the very least, you should be able to get least. out at zeros yeah. and not have to owe anybody. Yeah. So, so there's a good all, question now. It is all good questions. Yeah. And if you're struggling with any one of those things, please give us a call. We'll help you out. Yes. You do not have to go into foreclosure. No, not in this market. No. No. Um, so, yeah, Liz Wright Jambaski, thank you very much for the question. It was a great question. Mm-hmm. And now we'll move on to what's going down in Boyertown. And Liz, because she oh, asked yeah. the question. Yeah, Liz. She wins 10 bucks. Yeah, that easy. She asked the question. She, not even out loud. She wrote. She typed it in the computer. <laughs> Ten dollars. We're on her phone. All you yeah. have to do is ask a question. Yeah. Jen Seville, our producer, puts that uh, question up on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays. Tuesday yep. morning. Go to Glocker Realty Insurance on Facebook. Look for the Ask a Realtor post. Post your comment in there. All questions are answered, and the question that we answer on air. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Easy. That's a shorty hoagie and a coffee. For That's sure. right. For sure. <laughs> um, all right, so what's going down in Boyertown this week? Well, we've already been talking to the expert right here. She's the manager at Building a Better Boyertown, which runs a lot of the events here in Boyertown and, and is trying to improve our community constantly. So uh, kudos to Jillian. Kudos to Jill yeah. and come to out of hibernation. Coming, come out, of, to, coming yeah. out of hibernation. We're gonna have a good time. These, we're gonna have a great time, man. I'm looking, dude. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be losing sleep over these brisket tacos. <laughs> you, I believe I'm you. you. Jeez. Jeez. Look at the pictures. You'll be N- no, he'll he won't sleep from now until <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> so 
So Jillian, the expert's here with us. She already just ta she talked about um, coming out of hibernation. I'm going to highlight that. I'm basically going to take her words, put it on paper, or put it electronically. Yes, we got you. We got you. <laughs> Into my blog at what's going down in Boyertown at jeffknowsboyertown.com. So that's what I'm going to highlight this week. And so I was going through today, I was going through and find, this is what I do every week, I go through and try to find all the events that are happening all around the area, not just Boyertown, but right. all around. And I, I looked at Saturday, and Saturday you can spend your whole day in Boyertown and, and do like so many different things. It's crazy. Right. So that's what, that's what we'll talk about here. Of course, I have all the events on the blog. But um, let me just get to my right page here. So Saturdays... We're looking at Earth Day Electronic Recycling and Shred event at the board at the community park, Boardtown Community Park. Okay. If you missed last week at Alt House at the Potts Grove, dude, Middle they School, said that the line for the Alt House Arboretum was like super long. It was five hundred cars, I think they said came. Five hundred cars yeah. came through that. So uh -huh. if you miss that for some reason, because it was <laughs> right. so well, well I missed it because I have electronics. And I didn't get rid of. You them. didn't get rid of them? <laughs> no, I, I couldn't make it. I couldn't. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And so you've got I don't another think shot. I'm gonna make this one. Either. Oh no! Because I'm going to be at the event. We're we're, we're going to be at at uh, coming make out of hibernation. Make your lovely wife do it. No. All gonna, right. I'm not going to put my wife to work. All right. I'm, plus, I have to gather up all the electronics and stuff like that. I see. I'll so find another. You're not another organized, event. is what you're saying. I'm more. Matt, you're putting words <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, my trash electronics are not organized. Okay. I'll, t I'll give you that. All right. All right. Um, so Earth Day Electronics Recycling Shred Event in Boyertown Community Park, 10 to 1. So you got that in the morning, 10 before, a little 11 o'clock, coming out of hibernation. Um, from 10 to 3, there's a spring craft show and craft sale at the Boyertown Area Historical Society. Okay. So that, that kind of like straddles. Yeah, dovetails. Coming out of hibernation, now right? Also, Bookends. On a dock, on, on, in addition to the craft show, they're doing a miniature yard sale. Um, and they're not selling any of the objects that we have that, that they have in the collection, but they're doing a little miniature yard sale. And if anybody had purchased the AP cakes, those will be for pickup on that day uh, at that the time. The AP cakes. We talked about the AP cakes. Now, who's doing this? Who's doing this? I'm sorry. I, for the some reason, I totally society. spaced. Oh, so Boyertown Historical Society. Were you, still, okay. were you thinking about that brisket? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, of course, from 11 to 2 is the coming out of hibernation, which is all sorts of stuff going on there. We talked about already. Mm -hmm. uh, our friends at Ridgewood Winery, just, just outside of Boyertown yeah, in Bechtelsville. Yeah, Bechtelsville. At the Ridgewood Winery, they're doing a, a craft... Um, and wine event where you're making wooden flower boxes okay and then painting them and, and drinking wine. wine nice and that's on Saturday too that's on Saturday what time's that that is from 1 to 4 so theoretically you could do and it's not over <laughs> <laughs> it's not over alright okay alright oh so you God. got then you can go to the state theater and oh, watch yeah. The Father it's a new movie coming out it's got um, Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen the previews for it. I haven't either. It's Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. You know, he's good. Yes, world-renowned actor. Yeah, right? And then you can top off the night. You can go to Durango Saloon for some Saturday night karaoke. Oh and that goes gosh. from 1030 to 2. <laughs> so you started at... 10 o'clock in the morning, morning. ended at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Yeah, you had a big day. Oh, in Boyertown. In Boyertown. All in Boyertown. Oh, yeah. Boyertown's going to be popping this year. <laughs> Everything's in Boyertown. Everything is better in Boyertown. That's right. There you go. <laughs> There's so much stuff going on. Like, we're we're running into the same thing uh, down in Pottstown on the other show that I do, Porchcast Pottstown. The list of stuff announcements for events that we have it's just growing and growing and growing and we're not even hitting all of them yeah no we're, we're hitting the highlights or we're hitting the businesses or the nonprofits that support us yeah. so we're trying to support them back 
and it's amazing how much stuff's going and on. And in doing this event blog, I'm seeing it's just getting bigger and bigger. bigger. Every like Saturday is like I mean the the list is a mile long mile already. Long. I'm kind of scared what it's going to be like in a in year because <laughs> I'm like I I need some time of my own too, you know. Right. No, this but, it's becoming a full-time job, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's if you are bored between Pottstown and Boyertown, if you are bored anywhere within a 10-mile radius of those two towns... Then you want to be bored. You want to be bored. <laughs> yeah. You're just... You're, you're asking you're not, to be yeah, bored. Yeah, you're asking to be bored. Yeah. It's unbelievable how much stuff is going on. Yeah. And, and a lot of it is low cost or free. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't cost you anything to go out and walk around yeah. at... Uh, on on East Philadelphia Avenue during coming out of high no, day hibernation, you, can go you don't have to spend a chart. single cent. Nah, nothing. Just walk around. Yeah, and you and can then, even walk away with some stuff. Cause probably we're, we're giving away free stuff. I'm sure giving, other people are giving away free stuff. I was just gonna say somebody's gonna be giving away free stuff. Yeah. So you come down here, not spend a dime, and probably walk away with a bag yeah. full of stuff. Yeah. Come on, folks. So there's one more thing I wanted to hit. Um, <laughs> so we, we planned out your day for Saturday in Boyertown. Absolutely. But there's one more thing that, that I wanted to hit. Um, starting on Monday, uh, Shop Small to Win Big is starting, and that's a Hello 422 mm-hmm. event. Yeah. Uh, it's an online event, but uh, what they're asking you to do is you go out and you spend 50 or more dollars at any of the partic- participating businesses, which there's 74 businesses. 74 local businesses involved in this. Um, you spend 50 or more dollars and you send them the receipt and you know to show that and you're entered to win the prize and the prize is listen to this Matt. Okay. $50 gift certificate for each one of yeah, these places for 74 places. That's it's, over $3700. That's crazy. Yeah. They gave one away over the shutdown order it was like $6000 worth of gift cards. Yeah. It's 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 nuts. So a couple of these businesses, uh, just to give a couple shout outs, um, you got the Blue Elephant in Pottstown, mm-hmm. the Grind Restaurant in Boyertown, Hammer. Listen, and, if you haven't been to either one of those you, places, you got to go. go. Both of them are unbelievable. Yeah. The, I, I have not had a bad meal at Blue Elephant. My son was working there for a little while, and I only lived two blocks away from it. Yeah. So I walked down there to see my son, get a beer, and get the food. If you're into Asian— And did it with the grind. I mean, Yeah, same thing grind. with the grind. I've been to the grind multiple times. I've never had a bad meal at the mm-hmm. grind. But also the Blue Elephant. It, it, if you're looking for good Asian food— Go to Blue Elephant in Pottstown. You're not going to be disappointed. And then you send your receipt in between or what are the dates between April 19th and April and April 25th, and you could win a gift certificate to, to, get to every single one of these. But um, here's a couple more: um, Hammer and Stain in Pottstown. Mm-hmm. Like, That's like one of those craft crafting places, places right? Mm-hmm. They're over next to the. Um, they're next to the movie theater there on uh, 724, right across the street from the Coventry Mall. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Right there at the corner of Laurelwood and 724. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Happy Zen Mama in Boyertown. Mm-hmm. Himalayan Salt and Wellness Cave in Boyertown. J.J. Radigan's Brewing Company in Pottstown. Mm-hmm. The other farm brewery in Boyertown here. I was just That's a, a couple. Just a couple just of the 74. Couple. I was just at Other Farm uh, last week after a closing. Uh, my client wanted to go out for lunch after the closing, so we went over to uh, Other Farm. Another reason to pick me as a realtor, you might get free lunch. And ice cream. Uh, and drinks. <laughs> and ice cream. And ice cream now. You could get beer. You get lunch, beer, and ice cream. Yeah. Anyway, we went to the Other Farm the other day. Been the fir- it's the first time I'd been there in about a year. But the food was great. Mm-hmm. Everybody enjoyed what they had. The beers were good. It's good. Yeah. And if you're into smoked meats and barbecue and things of that nature, J.J. Radigan's in Pottstown. The, really good. The chef there, his name is Hiram Quintana. Dude, he's knocking it out of the park. Yeah. Yeah, I've had his food. He's good. He's uh came to uh, Pottstown through the professional... Um, or the comp- competitive barbecue circuit. Okay. And he's placed high places, like first, second, third in national barbecue wow. competitions. He's the head chef at JJ Radigan's. He also has a new restaurant that he has called uh, Stave and Stable. 
And then there's a burger joint called Sizzle. He's he owns doing, that too? He's doing all three oh, of those man. things. Nice. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah, guy. Yeah, I, I have to check that out. Yeah. Yeah. And they have they always have entertainment every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think. They Definitely do. Friday, there's Saturday. Always, I'm not there's sure about usually Sunday. something going on down there. Yeah. Yep. I will say for um, the shop small wind, mm-hmm. uh, I shop that small wind, wind dig. Yeah. They've been such a huge help during COVID for all of our small businesses in the area. They've raised, I think, for some reason, four hundred thousand and change is stuck in my head. But they they've raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for these small businesses. Wow! Wow! That's awesome! It's, it's been unbelievable. So wonderful for everything. I mean, in general, fantastic. But especially during COVID. They've been phenomenal. That's awesome. That's always good to hear. But I, I think that wraps up everything I have to say today. I look for everything that, um, everything, all the events going on on uh, JeffKnowsBoyerTown.com. What's going down in Boyertown is the blog. Also, Building a Better Boyertown, they have a bi weekly uh, event listing. That Bear Facts. Bear Facts, it's called. And, uh, and that w- gives you all the events happening in Boyertown as well. So always uh, something good to look at. Yeah, events, news, just anything, anything going on in town. I think this week was mostly about coming out of hibernation and hyping that up. But we post stuff from a little bit of everything. Just they post our show on it. Yes, we do. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And if you are a member of one of those businesses, again, I just want to throw it out there. Contact Jen at Glocker.com. We'll get you on the show. We'll talk about your business, and we'll hype you up. It will help us help you help us help you. It, it all yeah, goes yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a big circle. We all get along. We all help each other. And then other. we all have ice cream at the end, right? There you go. <laughs> Giovanni Gonzalez is saying thanks for the support. No problem. We will see you there. And if your food is good, my friend, we'll never stop talking about it. <laughs> Giovanni's going to be on the show. I think we're going to go and do a, we, a we live are. show or a recorded show with him. Either way, we're getting we're doing taste testing. Oh, so we're we're getting samples. All right, so you we'll like that, sample right? this Saturday, and then we'll sample again well, when we yeah. go to talk to Gio. And I'm sure we'll sample again and again and again. Oh my God! Of yeah. course, I just want to go back through. Thanks for everybody that's tuning in, Nathan Lab. Don't forget to check out what's going on at Colebrookdale Scenic Railroad. Uh, Lisa Pavlik, Lisa Zankman from Glocker Insurance was watching today. Call Lisa if you would like to get a quote on your insurance. Do all types of insurance. Just want to make sure I'm giving all the shout outs. I think we covered everybody. We and talked don't forget about, about their everybody. bikes at the Colebrookdale Railroad. How cool is Those that? Those rail bikes. Last First I heard. First in Pennsylvania. Last I heard, the rail bikes were booked up into June, probably past June. I, I believe it. I mean, what a cool experience that would be. Especially, you, you can bring the whole fa- like you can bring your family. Bring the whole family. Yeah. Have a great time out yeah. there. You going on a rail bike? I didn't hear of it till now. It's- you riding the rails on a bike. Pretty cool, huh? Get some exercise. Yeah, it's like a four sunshine. seater. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Got good views on that. On that it's train ride, beautiful so. views. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, so let's break it it down. We're at 7 o'clock, 7.03. This has been the cast at Glocker. We are on air every Wednesday at 6-ish. You can find out what's going down in Boyertown. You can ask a realtor. You can meet new people from your community. Tune in 6 o'clock. And if you watch live, you can ask questions directly and, and, and be part of the show. That's right. I always want to reiterate, if you like what you see and you hear here, please share it out there. Share it on YouTube. Share it on Facebook. Help us spread the word about all the good things that are happening here in Boyertown. Help our friends Larry at Boyertown Ice Cream and Water Ice have a successful run. Help him help promote this town and the people in it larry thanks for coming out thanks a lot you have definitely got yourself some new customers yeah the ice cream (laughs) is awesome yeah i'm matt green at glocker real estate that's how you can find me on all social media i also have a show called porchcast potstown that's on five ish on tuesdays (laughs) 
and Thursdays. Tomorrow, I'm going to be talking to Matt Moyer, who's the principal of Rupert Elementary School in Pottstown. Cool. He's also a children book author. Really? And he's cool. going to be talking about his new children's book that's nice. out. So tune in tomorrow, 5, Porchcast, Pottstown. Google Jeff Frederick. No. Sorry. Google Jeff at Glocker and uh-huh. you'll find me. Jeff Frederick is my name. I'm a real estate agent at Glocker and we will be out live at, at uh, coming out of hibernation there on you Saturday. Go. So come to our booth, talk to us, and we'll spin the wheel. Win a prize. Yeah, we'll win a prize. Don't forget to check out Jeff's new listing over there at Indian Run. It's a nice one. It's a nice the one. video for it is up on Glocker Realty and Insurance Facebook page right now. Check it out. This is the cast at Glocker. Like I said, we're on every Wednesday at 6-ish. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for supporting Local. See you next week. Bye-bye.